Good afternoon, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee, meteorologist Joe .com, weatherlongisland.com, SNS Storm Chasers. And uh, we just figured it'd be easier to uh, video um, what we think are the, the uh, latest updates and changes. And one of the things I want you to notice right off the bat, uh, Hermine continues to move to the east. Uh, it's now east of 70 west, uh, east of 70 west, and that is really, really important with respect to its impact on the coastline. The fact that it was able to get this far east without making uh, a turn uh, is a sign that this thing, even if it hooks back, it's not going to hook back uh, far enough to create really, really serious impacts for areas uh, from New Jersey to southern New England, with the exception, of course, we're, we're going to make, you know, want to speak specifically uh, to the coast, which where things will be a little bit different. But Certainly for inland areas, this is not an issue, um, and, and, that, and that's all there is to it from that respect. And I'm going to go on this tighter view on the visible. I mean, there's barely a sign that this thing has even started to move more northerly, although it should begin to do that this afternoon. But again, the fact that it's taken so long to do this is uh, very, very um, critical in terms of the forecast. Now, I'm going to show you uh, just a couple of models real quick. And what we are seeing, uh, I want to do the, the NAM first. Um, this is the um, surface with the 10 meter wind. So the green area is the green is the beginning of sustained winds of gale force. Doesn't mean there can't be gusts of gale force outside of this periphery, but we're talking about sustained winds of gale force. And I just want you to see as we go through the day today. Now, it, the model begins to finally turn, make that, that turn, but it, it, it's doing it in a looping fashion and this is its closest point to the coast would be Monday afternoon with gales touching eastern Long Island but they never now they never even reach the Jersey Shore and then from there uh, the NAM lifts it north north, north northeast over Nantucket as a weakening uh, system uh, the GFS for what we have at the moment um, which is out to 42 hours and I'll just back it up uh, brings the gales to eastern Long Island, uh, but all, and also never brings the gales to the coast of New Jersey. Uh, the loop on this particular run is very broad and does go pretty far back to the left. So um, I think the way we're going to approach this is, again, for inland areas, uh, I'm not worried about much of anything. When we look at the moisture field with this um, out through 36 hours, you know, it does have some a little bit of rain and uh, uh, touching the coastline, but not for, for inland areas. That is not going to be the case. Um, so uh, here's what I'm thinking: uh, if you are uh, e west of the Garden State Parkway, uh, if you are north of 287, if you're north of I-95 in Connecticut, you really have no issues to worry about at all. Okay, uh, other than you know a little you know a little bit of a breeze and you know maybe a, a shower gets in there if you want if you want to go that route for east of the parkway in new jersey long island uh, i'm thinking you know again the primary issue is coastal flooding and i'm going to scale back the uh tide the, the surge uh idea uh to uh, generally two to four feet with maybe some local amounts to five feet in Long Island Sound and over parts of the New Jersey shore. Uh, the next two high tides are the critical ones. I will say that this uh, the, the impact of waves is not added to that. And I was down at Smith Point Park on Fire Island this morning and there were some really big waves crashing. And it looks like some 10 to 12 footers or even higher were coming in. So um, there will be an impact from waves with that with beach erosion. So just bear that in mind. So, you know, this is not going to be Sandy all over again. This is not going to be Irene all over again. There will be some moderate to isolated areas of major coastal flooding up and down the shore for the next two high tides. But again, if you are inland, um, enjoy your afternoon and probably enjoy your Labor Day as well. Uncancel your barbecue. Uh, can't go to the beach because the beaches are obviously closed. Uh, so stay tuned for all the latest later today um, on. Um, my website, meteorologistjoechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, and don't forget SNS Storm Chasers for all the latest.